With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is find out the elongation in block if mass area of cross section and young modulus of block are m, a and y respectively. The mass is m, area is a and uh, uh, young modulus is given as y. As you can see this is a fur which is having a block of length l and we uh, apply a force of f on this block and the surface is smooth that means there is no friction between this block and this surface. That means in this whole system there is no friction force or any external force. That means I can write acceleration for this. Acceleration is given by F upon M and that is constant. So acceleration equals to A upon F upon M. Now we have to find out the elongation in this block. So let I assume, let I take a small element of dx length. This is the small element which is having the length dx. This is the small element dx for the length x of block okay this is a small element dx now t is vary in this length so i can find out the t that is a tension tension is given by basically uh, for, tension is basically for m a tension is given by m a now m is given as mass per unit length into of x tends mass of x length is given by mass per unit length into x into value of a is f upon m so this is basically this is the value of m and this is a so t equals to m a that means value of t is m m cancel out so it is f x upon l now for dx because dx is very small for dx this value is constant because d is very small so for a small segment or small element the value of tension is constant now we know that shear stress can be written by the stress is written by the formula shear stress that is s equals to y that is young modulus in length upon original length length this is the shear stress and shear stress is also given by force upon area Shear stress is also given by force upon area. Force is tension basically tension upon area. Suppose this is my equation first and this is my equation second. So I can equate both equations. So I can write y delta L upon L that is equals to T upon A and the value of T is Fx upon L A. Okay. Now I can write delta L is basically the change in length or elongation in block. Okay. So I can assume that elongation is block L is del x upon l for small segment i will take dx that is dx length of that small segment equals to fx upon l a so i can write this equation as del x is to fx upon l a y l a dx now if i integrate this equation then i will have the value of elongation in block Okay, because for small segment elongation is del x, so for whole length, elongation is given by elongation is given by integration this equation. So after this, this is the total elongation. Now total elongation is total elongation that is equals to the limit is from zero to l length of this block. So f upon y l a. This is constant, and we have to uh, we have to integrate value of x dx so integration of x is x square by 2 x square by 2 and the limit is 0 to l so after putting the limit we have finally have the total elongation for the whole block that is f on y l a l square upon 2 now 1 l 1 l cancel out so finally total elongation is l upon 2 y a this is the total elongation in block total elongation in block that is equals to f l upon 2 y a okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today